The Hopkinton Hillers took on Bellingham this past weekend in field hockey and soccer. Four games took place this past Saturday. It was the final weekend for Hillers soccer. In Game 1, it was JV Girls Soccer and Emily Hayward netted the first goal of the game with under two minutes left in the first quarter. Dribbled that ball away. She was just looking for a chance for it to hit the ground and she would take it from there. Erlich sends it up. There you go. Look at that. Finds Hayward. There it is. There is a goal. Emily Hayward makes it one to nothing. Yep, put that ball in front. Let somebody else take it. And what a great job outrunning her defender. Then about three minutes into the second quarter, Emma Champlin netted a goal near the corner of the box to make it two to nothing. I mean, you know, if you needed a field for a game. There's know. a strong boot there, and that's in! Look at that, Emma Champlin bangs it in to make it two to nothing. Just over five minutes left in the second, Ariana Schaefer adds on another for the Hillers. So will it all be at the gazebo? Or? All at the gazebo, correct. White airs it out to the net, that's a loose ball, it's put in! There with the goal is Ariana Schaefer. A 3-0 lead for the Hillers. And you could give Veronica White the assist there. So a nice play just up there right in front and someone has to get to it first. Hopkinton took the game over Bellingham by a final of four to nothing. Next up was the girls' varsity game. Alexis Veal found Lexi Trendle with just over 10 minutes left in the first quarter. Here's title. Veal with the shot out in front and it's put in. It went off of Trendle, I believe. She got the last touch on it. In the second quarter, the Hillers would add more goals. Ava Perlov nets this goal with just below 11 and a half minutes left. Butler sends it up looking for Perlov. Found her. Perlov trying to work through. Nice move there. There goes Perlov. Airs it out to the net off the goalkeeper's hand and in. What a beauty by Ava Perlov. And it's 2-0 Hillers. Gabriella Siri finds Lexi Veal with 6.05 left. Siri will take it. Free kick, rather. Out in front, Veal, shot, goal! 3-0 Hillers. Brooke Burt Whistle adds yet another Hillers goal about 90 seconds later to make it 4-0. Nice move there, sends it over. Burt Whistle airs it out to the net, and that's in! Brooke Burt Whistle hit that one so hard she almost broke the back of the net. 4 nothing Hillers. Hillers took the game over Bellingham by a final of 5 to nothing. After girls varsity soccer, it was time for JV field hockey and it was Kylie Lock time. Third quarter and just over six and a half minutes left, Kylie Lock makes it one to nothing. Billy Anderson trying to break free. Pass up, closing in, shot, and that's in! And that was Kylie Locke with the goal. Less than a minute after her first goal, Kylie Locke scores her second goal of the game. Locke, shot is diverted, secondary attempt, turned away, still in the attack zone, Locke launches it into the net! How about another one for Kylie Locke? Two to nothing game with just over a couple minutes left to go. And guess what? Kylie Locke does it again. Look out. Going for the hat trick. There's a shot and it's put in. There it is. Kylie Locke does it again. 
And I believe that was all locked. Lily Anderson was there, but I think it was uh, just the initial shot by Locke that put it in. The Hillers JV team took the win over Bellingham 3 to nothing. Final game of the Saturday action, Hillers Varsity battled Bellingham. In the third quarter, Vani Sharma found the net to make it 1 to nothing. Mar Souza sends it up over to Sarah Doyle. Doyle trying to close in. Bits it out and turns it around out in front of the net, and it's put in! Vani Sharma on the goal. Bellingham scored a goal of their own in the fourth quarter, and the game ended in a one-to-one -one draw. Hiller's boys soccer took on Bellingham this past Sunday. Varsity soccer got the action started off. First quarter, about five and a half minutes in, Bellingham got the scoring started. One to nothing, Bellingham into the third quarter, but with just over 12 and a half minutes left, the Hillers respond. Ito is intercepted, Gon steps up. He's gonna move into the attack now. Vasington on the ball, Vasington's got it. Vasington's got a clear shot here on goal and he's gonna scored it. What a nice goal by Vasington. Sam Vasington nets the game tying goal. Several minutes later, Owen Schnorr strikes. Opening on the Paul Peter, he's beat his man. And he crosses it to uh, Schnorr, who oh, oh, oh. Control, takes a controlling touch and blasts it into the, uh, the far corner for a Hopkinton lead. A 2-1 to one Hillers lead in the fourth quarter. And with just below eight minutes left, Schnorr adds yet another on a penalty kick. Penalty kick this season. <laughs> Strongly... Uh, connected with that one and put it into the side netting. I thought that was going to come out of the back of the net. <laughs> Hillers take the game 3-1 to one over Bellingham in their season finale. Hillers JV was next up and they had themselves quite a good day. Noah Lee Thomas makes it 1 to nothing with 8.48 left in the first quarter. Tika up to Lee Thomas. Into the attack zone. Nice moves in front of the net. Shot. Goal! 1-0 Hillers. Noah Lee Thomas. Just over six minutes later, the Hillers strike again. Nice back pass there over to Batika. Working up front. Bielabreski takes the shot. It's in! Andrew Brilo Brzezeski strikes and makes it a 2 to nothing Hillers lead. Hopkinton took the season finale by a final of 9 to nothing, and that wrapped up a great season of Hillers soccer and another terrific weekend of Hopkinton Hillers Fall 1 Season Athletics.